Hello friends, in this tutorial uh, we will discuss how to convert a decimal number to its binary representation. So uh, the binary representation of 4 is 100, zero zero. the binary representation of 5 is 101, one. the binary representation of 10 is 1010. Zero zero. So let's first understand how, how do we convert decimal number to binary number and then we will see how to write a java code to implement uh, this algorithm so let's let's start with 4 so if i have a number 4 so i have to convert this number to its binary representation so to convert a decimal number to its binary representation just uh, divide the number by 2 and repeat this step until the number becomes zero so if i divide the four by two then my quotient is two and its remainder is zero similarly if i divide the number again by two then the quotient is one and the remainder is zero so now the binary representation of four is hundred similarly if i take the example of 5 then if I divide the number 5 by 2 then its question is 2 and the remainder is 1 then again if I divide the number by 2 then its quotient is 1 and its remainder is 0 and then <coughs> now the binary representation of 5 is 101 so in this way you can calculate you can find uh, the binary representation of any decimal number so let's see uh, the algorithm first and then we will see the java code so uh, what we do is we just divide the number by 2 and store its remainder and then uh, we divide the number by 2 so that uh, in each step it the number reduces and we, we will repeat the above two step until the number is greater than 0 and after that we print the array in reverse order so let's see the code so here i have declared an array and its size is 20 and i have taken one variable count and initialized with 0 then I have run a loop until a number is greater than 0 and so let's understand uh, this logic by taking by taking an example so suppose my number is 5 so 5 is greater than 0 uh, and then uh, I have declared an array so the whenever so the remainder of 5 is when we div uh, divide the number by 2 then the remainder is 1 so in array zeroth position what we have stored the remainder which is 1 and then uh, we divided the number by 2 so number becomes 2 so now 2 is greater than 0 and after storing the remainder at zeroth index we incremented uh, the value of count so this time uh, we stored the value at uh, first position of an array so now the if we uh, if now this time the remainder uh, when we divide the number uh, by 2 then the remainder at this time is 0 so at first position we have we have we stored the remainder 0 and then again we have we divided the number by 2 so this time uh, we get 1, 1 is greater than 0 and then we store the remainder at second position uh, which is 1 and now the number becomes 0. So this loop will break. So we have an array and our array like this we have 1, 0 and 1. Now what in we have discussed that once we 
get the complete i mean binary number uh, i mean uh, what we have stored we have stored the uh, remainder then after that we print the array in reverse order so let's print the array in reverse order to print it we start we initialize the value of i with count minus one and we check the condition whether i is greater than or equal to zero and then decrement the value of i at each step and we print out the value so uh, if let's run this code and see the output if i run this code see my output is 101 so let's take another number so let's say this time 10 if i run this code see its binary representation is 1010 take one more example now let's this time 8 and if i run this code the binary representation of 8 is 1000 so in this way we can uh, we can print uh, the binary representation of any decimal number so uh, this is very simple logic and and i hope you love this video and if you love this video then please share this video with your friends with your colleagues and uh, do subscribe my channel so that uh, you get notification when whenever I upload uh, new programming tutorial or new programming video so uh, and also you can visit our uh, programming website which is https colon slash slash webredite.com and that's it for this video thanks for uh, watching this video